Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Tatter Presents Draft Prospects. Today we got Christian, Christian Wilkins. Uh, he was a huge part of that massive Clemson defensive line with the All-Americans all up and down the line. Uh, another national championship this year that will make it two for him. He won one when um, Watson, Deshaun Watson was the quarterback, and he also won this one with um, um, uh, the freshman quarterback this year when they destroyed Alabama in the national championship game. Actually, it ended up being a blowout. Wasn't much of a game second half. Well, in the middle of the third quarter on back. Well, uh, I chose the national championship game because, you know, what better competition than Alabama, you know, to kind of see how good a prospect is. So let's get right into uh, Christian's tape. Uh, Christian Wilkins against the Alabama Crimson Tide. First play we got, we got displacing the O-liner. This is him right here. And you can kind of see, you know, throughout the film, you'll be able to notice where he is with this this orange glove on. Um, still working toward getting this system where I can highlight different players and whatnot. Uh, Patreon's going to help out with that. It slant right, slants right here on Pierce Barker. And watch how he just get rid of him. Got the way. Not a factor. Luckily, the running back cuts off that block and he can't make a tackle. But just getting rid of Pierce Barker like that, like uh, he was a high school player. Now, the next play is his quickness. Why just quickness on the swim over? This is him right here. Ooh, that's nasty. Let's back it up. Go up, take it in slow motion. Takes that right hand. Kind of slaps Leatherwood on the shoulder. Then brings that, that left hand right over the top. Put the left hand right over the top of his head. And now he in the backfield. It's too late for Pierce Barker to, to get there and do anything with him. Tua just gets rid of it. Tua just gets rid of it. Is that Jonah getting whooped over there like that? Jonah ain't 73, is it? Oh, my God. But anyway, we we talking about Christian Wilkinson right now. A good over, bam hand, and over the top of it, right down top of the quarterback. Quickness for a guy that's over 300 pounds. I got hooked on this one. So not all these plays are good plays. Watch him right here, and he'll, he's he's going to allow 70 to cross his face, then turn his body, which allows Najee Harris to, to kind of get in there for this touchdown, I think, up close to the touchdown. Yeah, that's what happened. So he is still still facing with uh, 70. I think 70 is, is Leatherwood. I think that's his name for Alabama. So he should maintain his gap. Leatherwood had a good step and got his head crossed immediately. So that's good on, on his part. But now where he messes up at Christian's trying to fight over, trying to fight over, trying to fight over, looking for the ball. And what, what sets it up is Najee dug in inside. So Christian decides to go inside too. And then when he bounces his outside, it's too late. Leatherwood got him turned now. And that's the alley he needed right there. Scoop right through there. So he just didn't hold his leverage on it. That's all. Just didn't hold his leverage on this play. And allowed uh, Najee Harris to get in there for the touchdown. Now, on this play right here, this he's right here at the one tech. I just want to show you how strong he is. Just watch what he does to this guy. Mm. Just, blow, just blows through there. He does, I mean, the play is, it's a play action anyway, so he's not really, you know, affecting it. But they're going to try to down block to him. He's just going to bang him out the way. And, you know, if it was a run play, he would have stopped it. It's a good job of using leverage. That, that's all, he, you know, he's strong. And you know, all these guys are strong. But he knows how to use his leverage and stay low. Cause look look how low he stays right there. Look, He never stands up. The low man wins. He's lower than both these guys. He's lower than 70 and 66. The low man wins. And if this was a run play, He'd eat that up right there. If it was a run play, he'd eat it up right there. Tua comes out and gets the one of the few touchdowns they got this game. A two-point conversion, whatever it was. I've been asked. 
How can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip to Tally. I'm going to show you his quickness. See him sitting right here in the one tech right there. He changed gaps. And he changed the whole gap before Pierce Barker can even get his head around. So now he's in front side A gap. He's going to switch all the way to this back side A gap. And this guy barely even touches him. Look at that. He's holding. Just that quick. Just that quick. A guy that big shouldn't be able to move that fast. Should not be, especially an interior lineman. That's awesome. Switch a whole gap and barely get touched. Then almost make the play. Now, here's is just going to be him staying active and, and, and making making the play down the field. He's just staying active. He don't stop. Just He just keeps working. He's playing zero now over the, over the center. Just keep working, keep working, keep working. Give me a, give me a little half a sack. Just staying active. That's all. Just staying active and working. Being disruptive. Being disruptive. Same thing here. Just staying active and being disruptive. It's him right here. Not had, he hadn't got down yet. This is him right here. Staying active. Mm, chasing two out of there. Just by staying active, he gets a, um, what's it called? A, a forced QB pressure. That's what it is. He gets a QB pressure. Again, right here, he's in playing a three now. Steps inside. They're double teaming him. Uh, Leatherwood and Pierce Barker double teaming him. Tries to over. Couldn't get it because he got a little help. So now. Nah. That move didn't work. Now I'm just going to keep working. I'm going to stay alive. So he eventually splits them. Eventually splits them. Split them right there. Now, he got his eyes on the quarterback now. Free reign to the quarterback after eventually splitting the double team. You know, gets a uh, QB pressure and two just throws it away. Motor. That's all that is. High motor. He's a high motor guy. All right, now watch this power. I want you to see uh, who is I forget who this is. One of these two guys he's going to go against. They're on the 25-26 yard line. I'm just I'm just going to play it. You can see it. This is Christian right here. Oh, my God. So, they went from the 25, 24-25 to the, he got to push the man down there 10 yards back. And there was nothing he could do to stop it. Almost 10 yards back. Down to 26. So maybe 7, 8 yards back. Still, he displaced the line of scrimmage. That's strong. And again, let me see if we can see it from him. The low man wins. He stays, below, he stays lower than this, this guy pads and keep moving his feet, keep using his hands. Okay, he's lower than him. You see it right there? He's underneath that guy's pads. The low man going to win every time, especially if they're equal or, or close to equal strength. He's just running them feet and running them out. He understands leverage. He really understands leverage. And right, this is him being able to stunt. I just want to show, show his agility right here. That's how he changed gaps. They quit. This guy's quick to be this big, man. He starts right here as the uh, as a 4 I. And he's going to stun all the way back in his A gap. Yeah, right there in his face, automatically. Can't get his hands on him. Well, barely gets his hands on him, but it doesn't slow him down. He for Another quarterback pressure. He forced it. All right, now. Well, you need your D linemen, your 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 Warren Saps, your your guys like that to be playmakers at crucial times. If you see now the ball is on the one yard line, 
at the tape play. Christian right here. Mm. Destroys Leatherwood and clips the running back on the goal line. Just watch him right here. Use that leverage, slant that gap, and make the tackle. Simple. That's a big fella right there. That's a big, mean, low playing, destroying, blocking, uh, chasing the quarterback down. He, he can play the run. He can play the pass. That's why uh, Clemson was one of the reasons why Clemson was so good. And this is later on in the game when Clemson threw Jalen Hurts to the Wolves because they were down big and those guys had their ears pinned back. And look, they only they only rushing three. May, this guy may come. But this is our guy right here playing uh, nose. Mm, crossed him over. Watch him cross him over. Oh, basketball. Move out there. Watch. Just watch. Pat, pat. Now he got leverage on him already. All they got to do is get rid of that hand. If he can get rid of that hand, he good. Got to get rid of that hand, though. Bring it, up. Bring it over. Split the double. And that was a crappy double by whoever the this same guy. That was a crappy help. He might as well just touch him on the back. He just run through it. Then both of them just give him up because they don't want to hold. And like I said, at this point in the game, they probably gave up. And Hurts know he leaving, so I'm going to get this sack. And pad the stats. Sack and a force fumble. Again, Christian Wilkins, one of the better D linemen in the draft. Probably won't make it past pick 10, if that. Maybe 15. But he's going to be a disruptive player for a long time to come, barring injury. I like his game. I like his motor. And um, this is Coach Evans. Again, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit the Patreon up. Uh, check out the Teespring for the T-shirts. Got some new designs coming. And, again, I appreciate you all. Coach Evans, sit the tally. I'm out.